I tried my best. What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Look what I'm wearing. You're just confusing me. Anyways, um, today we're gonna be doing something different. Um, it's kind of like a challenge, but really and truly, we've seen Emma Chamberlain do it and we was like, hey, that looks fun, why don't we do it? Today, we are going to be, um, what are we gonna DIYing do? DIYing our freaking jeans. Originally, the plan was that Layla would design a pair of jeans for me and I'd design a pair of jeans for her, but I thought that was so unfair because Layla is the worst at art and I'm like, Picasso. So today we're just gonna design our own jeans kind of thing. Yeah, it's actually gonna be quite fun. I love designing and painting and stuff like that because I have no friends and I just do it at home by myself. If you guys want to be my friend, I'm taking applications now. The the slots are going, okay? So you're gonna need to hurry up with that one, guys. When I first moved into my new apartment, my mom gave me a few things and one of those things was this thing right here and I actually didn't know what to do with it. I was like, Mom, what am I gonna do with like this cupcake shaped jar thing? And it actually came perfect for using it as like water to <laughs> for paint brushes and stuff. So shout out to you, mom, for the cupcake jar. We've got some snacks. I got some foil. Then we have got some towels in case I need to clean off your brushes. And I think we actually used these ones before. So like Yasmin said, I'm actually really bad at drawing. I can't even draw a stick man and make it look good. So I'm trying to think of like basic stuff that will look cool. So in Emma Chamberlain's video, she was going ahead with the smiley faces, right? But she didn't pursue it. And I was like, hmm, I feel like that would look so vibey if I did one leg of smiley faces or like different yellow faces. No, no. don't tell me what you're doing. Why? Just do it and then it's a surprise at the end. You're gonna ruin it. Don't say, I'm not saying what I'm doing as well. Yes, we are. No, we're not. We have to freaking, it's all we can do, be silent for four hours. For an hour? Yeah. What, just a time lapse for an hour? Yeah. This is kind of like what I feel like won't go wrong. So like one leg of smiley faces and that's it. And the smiley faces that I'm talking about is, you know, like the yellow, the yellow circle with like the black, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you understand that thing, yeah? Or the other option is this and then she colors it in. You know what I mean? That's kind of the gist. We've already got a freaking dilemma, okay? The dilemma is I've got the pen out and I'm legit like ready to start sketching out, but I don't know what looks better out of the freaking peaches or the smiley faces. So I'm gonna go on Instagram and I'm gonna ask you guys, what design shall I do? The dreaded thing happened. I didn't actually wanna happen. So I asked and people said they wanna see peaches and I'm like, just do smiley faces. But I gotta give the people what they want. Okay, we're gonna go ahead with the peaches and we're just gonna see what happens how to draw a peach easy and cute that's what we want easy and cute see how many peach we're gonna first start by drawing the stem here i'm just gonna draw a curve guys i can just tell mine's gonna be better than Layla's. it's not fair that you say that i'm really actually trying like yasmin's just diving straight into it whereas i'm really like trying to map things out and stuff oh my god i'm a freaking pro i'm a freaking pro look at that doesn't that look identical to that? You think you're gonna win? Yeah. Look, look at yours, what is that? Look at that freaking masterpiece. It's, it's freaking, that's it, I've won. Sinist, I've won. I don't think I'll feel it when I hit the ground. So guys, I just finished my first peach and Yasmin's telling me it looks like an orange but I don't have white, so like this is the best I'm doing. I'm like mixing orange with yellow and pink. I'm using normal colors now because- I couldn't find white, so I improvised and mixed colors. I know it kind of looks like an orange, but what's, an orange and a peach kind of look the same, and I haven't even got into my shading and stuff, so. not the same You sound like a hater. I'm doing the best I can. I think that this is literally a freaking masterpiece, seeing as I normally don't ever draw. Okay, so I'm kind of getting, I'm kind of getting carrot vibes. I'm kind of getting, getting carrot tired. vibes. I'm actually getting tired, frustrated, tired. Why frustrated? This is so long. It's meant to be therapeutic. Uh, for who? Psychopaths? No. Guys, this is like killing me. I'm just losing the will to live right now, guys. The pain, it just, it just doesn't 
it just absorbs into the jeans. That's because you're not using fabric paint. Too bad. Layla's out here drawing carrot, and I'm out here making masterpieces. Don't know about you, but I feel like a freaking artist. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I know it's kind of looking like carrots and oranges, but I'm not mad. I'm actually looking at it like, well, at least I can freaking draw a carrot or an orange. Like, if I seen these in a shop, I think I would actually buy them. But like, I know that sounds a bit weird. Like, why would you buy something that you think looks like a carrot or like an orange or whatever? But it looks so much better. Like basically what I'm trying to say is like they look better than they did before and that's an improvement. And like I said to you guys, I, my, I feel like I need to switch up my style. And these look quirky and it's like you're not going to find anyone with carrot, orange, peach jeans on anywhere apart from me in the whole entire world. Like I am going to be the only person in the whole entire world with these jeans. That's actually mad. I'm the only person in the whole entire world with these jeans and that's good enough for me. So I promise, I vow that you lot will definitely see me wearing these even if they don't come out looking like peaches because I'm proud that I um, stepped out my comfort zone to make these jeans. Like, I feel like they look good. And as long as I think they look good, that's all that matters, right? Let me show you how good they look. So this is how far I am at the moment. I really want to go in with the outline and start shading and stuff, but I have to wait for the paint to dry because every time I try and paint on top, it kind of just like slips and stuff. I'm getting tired, but I really want to continue like going down and your girl ain't a quitter. So I'm going to continue. Okay guys, so this is my little cartoon dude. I should have waited for the paint to dry before I did this thing because like now like, it's wet and it's ruining it. So it kind of looks gross. But as you can see, I'm sweating here. I think he's kind of cute. It look, it's much bigger than what it looks like on the jeans, actually. But it's quite a big face. But it's not done yet. So give me like, I don't know how long. Just give me, take, take the time. Just give me time. I've realized why my peaches look like oranges and carrots. It's because I didn't do a stem and a leaf. I did two leaves. The peach has a stem. Well, that's great. A few moments later. Um, you know what? I take back everything I said before because I'm quitting. <laughs> I'm quitting and I'm going to show you guys why I'm quitting. This is what I've drawn. I know you're thinking, wow, what a cute little um, weird bunny rabbit thing. And that's what it actually is meant to be. <laughs> so, um, I just want to apologize to um, the artist Murakami. Um, no, you're not going to see this because you're really rich. And, um, I'm going to buy you other jeans, okay? Um, I just thought of an idea. I'm going to redo everything. I'm going to colour the shit out of this thing that I have created, this monster. And I'm going to do something different, because I'm not giving up just yet. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's because we don't want it anymore. I'm going to get rid of all of it. What a waste of an hour of my life. What the hell is that? I loved those jeans! Yeah, well, I'm going to turn it into something else. You can only use fabric paint on this then. This is fabric yeah, paint. from now on, whatever you're drawing, you can only use fabric paint. Stop distracting me, otherwise I'm going to flip and just throw it away. So now I'm going to take these to dry on the balcony. I don't think they look that bad. Like, I feel like they look quite good. Okay, there we go. So they are basically sunbathing right now, and I'm going to come back in about half an hour, and hopefully they've dried. Okay, guys, let me just start off by saying one thing. I tried my best. <laughs> was I wrong? Yes, I was wrong. But um, the jeans that I made didn't come out the way I expected them to. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with failing. It failed. I failed. Um, everything I said about winning this whole game, this whole challenge, um, I'm going to take that back ASAP. Um, I'm actually going to cut it out the video because... Um, <laughs> I thought I was gonna win this, but I'm not gonna lie, Layla pulled through, she actually stuck with her design. I changed mine up, um, I actually ruined it. Could've been something good, but I just put a brown square everywhere, and then I just added more brown squares. Layla's just in the other room now, and she doesn't know that I've actually improved her jeans a bit. I've done some outline and some shading. Okay guys, so I did the outlining. I'm not gonna lie, it's not that great because Layla made it, okay? It's not that great for that reason. Uh, my jeans, on the other hand, they're my jeans. Um, I don't know either, okay? Don't judge me. 
I have no clue. This is basically where I started off drawing the cartoon. Um, you can kind of still see the bunny ears and the face, but I did it wrong. So I had to just put a brown square over it. And then I was like, why did I do that? So I put two, three more brown squares. I think it's safe to say that I lost um, and Layla won. Okay, so you just got to close your eyes for a second, okay? I swear to you, if you ruin them, I'm actually going to punch in your face. I didn't, I fixed them. There was nothing to fix, they were perfect. They okay, yeah, you did actually a lot better nice. than I thought you would. My jeans with the white uh, little corner. Yeah, okay. Whatever. You didn't do bad, not gonna lie, you did okay. Not great, you know, considering she said she was Picasso, but... By the way, I'm sorry about what's going Your on in jeans. the background. Do you like them? You did make them better. You put the shading on them. So that's a bit Oh better. my god, my carrots and peaches! Okay then. Yeah, it's really good. Did you basically do it so you could take credit? Yeah, so at least I feel like I did something good in this video. <laughs> you did make them better, so I'm not gonna lie, I'm very thankful for that. Oh my god, I actually lo I would actually buy them from a shop. This is the story of the turtle and the hare. Okay, this is the story of the turtle and the hare. You know, the hare's there and he's bragging that he's the fastest rabbit in the world and he's gonna win the race. And the poor little turtle's like, okay, I'm gonna try. And then what happens? The hare is too confident yes, and he loses the and the turtle freaking wins. Layla the turtle won the freaking, freaking contest. Are you done? I'm a freaking turtle. That's what I am. I'm a freaking turtle. Anyways, guys, I hope you like this video. I am so proud that I actually won something. My nails are ratchet. I'm very aware. I need to go and get them done. Thank you for watching. Remember, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe because a lot of you say that you miss the videos and then realize that you haven't subscribed, and that is the reason why. So make sure you subscribe and follow us on Instagram, and I will see you all again soon with another video. Bye, guys. Love from the turtle.